Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jamin and welcome to Soul Searching. This is my channel over here. We talk about sneakers and we talk about men's fragrances. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, please consider blessing me with your subscription by clicking that subscribe button down below. Turn your notification bell on. That way when I drop a video, you'll get notified. You can go in if you don't have nothing better to do. Check out the video. Maybe learn something about some sneakers or maybe learn something about some men's fragrances. Speaking of that, that's what we're going over today was the sneakers in the background for my most recent pickups that I'm currently wearing. However, I've not wore the Amam in years just yet. I need to put them on toe. So today is Saturday. We've got our annual holiday event to go to, or my wife does, and I'm going to be going with her, of course, as her date, I guess. <laughs> right? So, hey, look, sneakers and colognes go hand in hand with each other. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, they go hand in hand with each other. It's important, okay, to have some heat on your feet, no doubt. But the most important thing is to smell good, okay? If you're a man and you go out and you smell good, man, people, you know, like, oh, what do you got on? Not just as a boost of confidence for compliments or anything like that, but you just overall, personal hygiene should be important to you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I got 20 of them lined up right here. That Again, I'm going to choose one of them for tonight. But hey, even if you don't have a holiday get together that you want to go to or that you got going on, you can suggest one of these as a gift. Maybe you got, you, you, maybe your girl's gonna buy you something for Christmas or whatnot. Uh, maybe your wife. Uh, so you know, these are all certified bangers. I've worn them, every single one of them. None of them are well. Some of them semi new, but uh, these are most of them. I say ninety eight percent of them are found in the mall still. So you can go out and buy them if you want to. We're gonna go from least or, or you know a range of prices from fifty dollars all the way up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. If they're from the same house, meaning from, from the same designer house, then I'll be sharing them together and I'll give you my thoughts on both of them. And that's what we're going to do for this first set. This right here, guys, is by the House of Azaro. Okay, this one right here, the one with your black metallic. And I like these bottles, by the way. They look like a revolver. Um, but this one right here with your matte, with your black finish, and this one right here with your silver. This is the most wanted parfum, okay? Now, when you hear me, let me let me say this. For, for you guys that know about fragrances, you're already going to know this, but for some of y'all just getting into the fragrance game, you have what's called an EDT, which is an eau de toilette. You have an EDP, which is an eau de parfum, and then you have a parfum. Guys, eau de toilette has a less concentration of oils. EDP has a little bit more concentration, and I'm putting this in layman's terms. Parfum has the most concentration. So what does that mean? EDT has more alcohol in it. It's going to project a little bit louder, but it's not going to last as long on your skin. EDP is in between. It's going to project a little bit. It's going to last a little bit longer. And Parfum is going to project less, but it's going to last a long time. Okay, that's typically the case. You do have some outliers in that. But yeah, just wanted to go over that real quick with you guys. So again, back to the fragrances. Azaro, the most wanted Parfum. Guys, this one right here is youthful. Okay, it opens up sweet. Both of these open up sweet, but I'm going to tell you the difference. This one opens up sweet. It has a dry down, almost kind of a candy nature, but what I get overall on this is grape soda, okay? This smells like grape soda. It smells divine. It smells delicious. Both of these garner compliments, so what's the difference? This one's more youthful. This one's more mature, okay? This is a Zaro Wanted by Night, all right? Wanted by Night. So this one right here is going to open up sweet as well, but when it dries down, you're going to get kind of a booziness to it. You're going to get a little bit of booze, you're also going to get a little bit of tobacco. So think by the fireplace, a little cozy action going on with this guy right here. So youthful, playful, cozy by the fireplace. Both of them are great scents for a Christmas party. Go easy on the sprays. These do project a little bit uh, loud. Okay. So there you go. Azaro, the price point of those are fair, usually coming in around, a, you know, less than a hundred bucks. So that's those two. Next up, we got our freshies, okay? We got one that's semi-cheap and one that's a little more on the expensive side, but this is uh, Versace Dylan Blue. Again, this is a freshie. This one opens up very nice, very fresh out of the shower. Uh, you cannot go wrong with this one. This is a people pleaser. You can find this for probably around 50 to 60 bucks, but man, let me, let me smell this. Smells like a dream, guys. This, I mean, this is certified, okay? This is certified. A lot of you guys may have already heard of this or have it, but uh, yeah, this one's good. Again, freshy, out of the shower. Little synthetic, but not bad. And then you got Yves Saint Laurent. This is why, this is the standard EDP, the Eau de Parfum. I like the EDP. They just came out with the intense version. A lot of people are on the train with the intense version. I don't blame them. It smells good, but to me, it's a little redundant. If I already have the EDP, I don't need the intense. I may buy the intense when I run out 
uh, this. But this is another freshie. It's just very clean. Every time you wear, I wear this, I get compliments. Uh, any, it, it, this is good for all ages, you know. Uh, but this is this is uh, it starts off with apple, so it has that apple accord to it. But it really it really just settles down into a fresh. It doesn't get very woodsy or anything, at least on my skin. And it lasts forever. I mean, this thing lasts like all day long. So why else? Why this one right here is going to run you probably about 120 to 140 bucks. Okay, so this one's more on the expensive side than your Dylan Blue. But I wanted to tell you guys an option there. All right. We're going to move over to Paco Rabanne, one of my favorite fragrance houses, and this is one million. Now, these are sweet fragrances, okay? So if you're not in the sweet, then you're not going to be in the one million, but these are also bangers. Guys. The, the, the ladies love these. This one right here, I chose one million Royale because it's a good winter, fall and wintertime fragrance. This one is spicy. Um, it opens up with a carbon smell, kind of incense -y. And uh, incense -y. is that even a word? Incense -y. Um, But anyway, this one right here is more of a luxurious, hence probably, you know, the ruby that it has right here. Kind of the bottle itself kind of looks lux luxurious. But yeah, this one right here is more of a spicier version. Whereas in One Million Lucky, okay, this one's also another banger for this time of year. This one is a gourmand fragrance. So when I, when I say gourmand, what I mean by that is, it smells edible, okay? And let me tell you, this is my wife. Out of my entire collection, I've got a ton of clones, man. She loves One Million Lucky. This is her favorite. This one has like a honey, uh, well, like a nutty honey kind of smell to it. Uh, I want to say it's got hazelnut in it, and it's also got plum in the opening. So, yeah, if you want to put something on and, and want to be eaten, hold on, pause. <laughs> okay, uh, edible... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. Yeah, I just said it. So there, pick one. <laughs> let's keep it moving, guys. Um, let's go to the house of Coach next. Coach is just a classic uh, cologne. I'll start off with the, with the, and I'll tell you the slight differences between each one of them. You can find these relatively cheap as well. These are typically going to be in your $70 to $100 range. But this one right here is the OG classic. This is Coach for Men. Okay, you get this little leather hang tag right here on it. It kind of reminds me of a J a little bit, you know, uh, but this one right here has pear. You're not going to find anybody in the world that this is going to kind of turn off or be offensive to. Everybody, anytime that I've ever worn this fragrance, everybody likes it. Nobody has said, hey, that, that doesn't smell that great. You get compliments on this, but it opens up with a pear opening and then settles down into a little bit of woodsy vibe. Probably going to last you four to six hours. Go three to four sprays on this and you'll be fine. This is Coach for Men, standard coach, all right? Next up, we have a little bit more of a mature version of Coach, but it opens up with pineapple rather than pear. This is Coach Platinum, okay? Coach Platinum, if you can't tell by the bottle, right? <laughs> it's got shiny. Um, but this one opens up with pineapple, guys, and this one settles down into like that same kind of Coach dry down or whatever. Not much difference, but the opening is a little different. It's worth calling out. And this one's good too, guys. This is Coach Platinum. Again, pineapple versus pear, both with a similar dry down. Now, this one goes in a different direction. This one right here is Coach Green, and this is a 2023 release. This one just came out. This is the delicious, guys. This is my favorite out of the bunch right now. I don't own Coach Blue. I wasn't really a fan of that, but Coach Green is, is great. It starts off with this nice blast of kiwi. Okay, kiwi is, is very tart and a little sour, actually, but it smells great if you're into that kind of you know smell, and I am. I like it, but the dry down is where this guy really turns different than the other coaches. This one has more of like, like a wood, like a true woodsy pine kind of cedar oak dry down, hence the name Coach Green. Uh, it really turns in the direction of maybe like an old school uh, mature scent, similar to like maybe Polo Green. So yeah, if I had to pick out of three, I would go with Coach Green. But if you're just starting off, try the Coach for Men first and uh, see, see what you think about it. Get this down here so we can get, get a look at the colognes. Get off the J's for a minute. All right, where we're going to go next? Let's go to the Gourmands, guys. So I, I was talking about one of those being, oh, the, the One Million Lucky. Here's some other Gourmands that I have that, that you may find. And again, Gourmand just means that the, the fragrance smells a little edible. This one right here, guys, is Hugo Boss Bottled the scent, Private Accord. Now, this one may be a little tough to find, okay? Uh, I think this one was discontinued, but guys, the scent is fantastic. This one opens up with what they call Manica Fruit, and Manica Fruit is sweet. But it has soft, kind of a soft powdery smell to it as well. 
Uh, but the biggest thing about this one is it has cacao note. Cacao is a chocolate, of course. And uh, so when this one dries down, you really get a lot of like hot chocolate vibes off of it. So this one's perfect for the winter time and perfect for an office party. Uh, it's very classy, uh, smells, you know, luxurious. And so, yeah, Boss Bottled Descent Private Accord is definitely up there on the list for a holiday get together. This is a new, both, well, both of these are a new release actually. This is from the house of Paco Rabanne, the same guy that brought, or the same designer house that brought you the one million line. This is Invictus Victory Elixir. And you can't see it too well, but this has like a blue gradient to it. Maybe you can pick that up some. Uh, they do have a regular Invictus Victory. Don't mix them up. The Invictus Victory is good too, but the Elixir guys, the 2023 version is an absolute stunner. That's very similar to the next cologne that I'm going to show you. The, the difference is this one right here opens up with like a, almost like a tropical vibe to it. It almost has a, a coconut. For those of you guys that may own Le Beau La Parfum or Boss Bottle Pacific, this is very similar to that. Uh, it's, it's really just a decadent smell. Uh, open it up with coconut, trop, again, tropical vibes, but it quickly settles down into a vanilla and amber fragrance. It's very beautiful. It, this guy projects great. Three fragrances, or three fragrances, three sprays, max, maybe four, maybe you can get away with four. Try it on your skin, but yeah, this is a great one for, again, for the holiday party, for wintertime, for the cold weather, Stunner, Invictus Victory, Elixir for the W. And then another 2023 banger, guys, John Paul Gaultier, Lamal Elixir. This one right here. Hey, this was like, if you want to get on the so-called hype train of fragrances, this one right here is leading off the, the, the hype train right now. And there's a good reason why. It's absolutely divine. It's delicious. It opens up um, sweet. It stays sweet throughout the fragrance. But this one is another one, like I said, kind of like the Invictus Victory Elixir. It reminds me, it has a, a dry down of a vanilla spice cake. So think about if you take a vanilla cake out of the oven, that smell that you get when you first take it out and it's hot. That's what you're gonna get out of this right here. It's very edible uh, and, and, and the, the ladies love it. My wife is absolutely in love with it. So John Paul Gaultier, Lamal Elixir, 2023. So where are we going next? Let's talk about this guy right here. I don't know what to say about this other than buy it. Um, put it on your skin. Oh, hey, and by the way, all of these are subjective, all right? Everybody has different smells. I'm telling you what these smell like to me and what some of the notes are that I pick up on. But guys, if you get a chance, definitely try the fragrance before you buy it. This one right here is Prada Luna Rosa Black. And this one, I've got maybe a couple more that's kind of eccentric, but this is very eccentric out of all of these. This is very mysterious. It's very mature, very grown. And let me tell you, <laughs> if you put this on, you will get compliments. I will tell you that right now. I will tell I'm, I'm, you're going to get complimented. So if you're with your wife or you're with your lady and you don't want other ladies complimenting you, don't buy this. Don't wear it because you're going to get complimented. This opens up almost with a rubbery tire smell. Like I said, it's very eccentric, almost niche quality to me. But it quickly dries down into a soft, powdery, amber fragrance. Very soft, very approachable just all around a, a, a delicious, a delicious fragrance. And uh, yeah, Prada Luna Rosa Black. If you find a bottle of it sitting in your mall, I definitely get your nose on it. Let me know what you think about it. All right, let's sit this guy. I don't know, I gotta move these J's back. We're running out of room here. Put Prada back here. What do we got next? Let's take it old school real quick. Guys, this one right here is probably the most expensive. Well, not really, but for the size concentration, this is Dior Sauvage Elixir, okay? This one right here is a throwback to the past. All right, it's got this little magnetic cap. It's pretty cool. But this right here smells woodsy. It has licorice in it. This is really a masculine scent. It smells beautiful and this thing lasts for days, guys. Go easy on the spray, two sprays max, I would say. Uh, and this thing projects like a beast. But yeah, if you spray this on, you're gonna smell it a day or two later on your skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Devor, De Devor, Dior Sauvage Elixir. And here's what this reminds me of. Here's what Dior Sauvage Elixir reminds me of. To me, it's almost like a, 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 a play off of it, a more modern play. Guys, Polo Green, okay? The OG classic Polo Green. Let me tell you something. If you go into a Christmas party and there's cougars on the prowl, if you've got Polo Green on, they will claw you, okay? 
you're going to get mauled by a cougar if you wear in polo green. This is a scent that I used to wear back in high school in the early 90s. So I'm going to tell you, if you wear this, and, and, and the ladies that were around back in the 90s, maybe they, they in their 40s, late 30s and whatnot, they will pick up on this cologne. Everybody wore this cologne back in the day, and people don't wear it that much no more. But this was a beast back then. And so if you put it on and they smell it, they will maul you, okay? You're going to get mauled. You're going to get attacked by a cougar. Cougar juice. Where are we going next? Let's go Dosi and Gabbana K. This one's not talked about that much, but this is K for king, baby, the king. Dosi and Gabbana. This is the Eau de Parfum. They have an Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum really is immaculate. Smells great. The notes in this are very, very eccentric, okay? You have fig. You have pimento. You have blood orange. You have patchouli. So you put all that together and you've got a one of a kind fragrance. This one smells like no other fragrance I have in the collection. And it's great, guys. It's great. It'd be excellent for it. I may wear this tonight. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Probably going to either go this, John Paul Gaultier, or the next one that I'm going to show you. But hey, check this one out. Dosing Gabbana K, again, Eau de Parfum. If you see that, Eau de Parfum. Not the EDT. I'm not a fan of the EDT. This one, when Nelly wrote the song Pimp Juice, okay? When Nelly wrote the song Pimp Juice back in the day, if y'all can remember that song Pimp Juice, he was talking about this stuff right here, guys. This is Blue de Chanel. Now, you have the EDT, the Eau de Toilette we were talking about earlier. You have the EDP, the Parfum, and then you've got the Parfum. This is my favorite, guys. To me, and I'm not hating on none of them. I think they all smell great, so you can't go wrong with any of them. The EDT is more of a citrus blast. Uh, it projects loud. The EDP is, in, again, in between this and, 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 and the, ED, in the EDT. But this is the Parfum version, guys. And the Parfum version, it sits close to the skin, but it's very elegant, guys. Very elegant. It has like a grapefruit mint opening, dries down into a nice scent of woods. This is probably the best blue market or best blue fragrance on the market, but it is expensive, guys. This bottle right here, now this is the 150 ml because I love it so much. I wanted to go just go ahead and get the biggest bottle they had, but this one ran me 250 bucks. But check this out, guys. You can get it for cheaper than that if you want a smaller concentration. Check out Blue de Chanel Parfum. Again, Pimp Juice 101. All right, we're about to close it out. We've got three left. Let's dive into, let's say you a manly man, man. Let's say you one of them motorcycle guys. You ride the motorcycle, you got the leather jacket and all that kind of stuff. You want to smell like leather. You don't have to buy a Tom Ford fragrance, hence ombre leather, okay? Not saying that's bad for anybody, anybody on it, but you, you don't have to pay 200, 300 bucks for, for a fragrance. You can get one for about 70. This is Vince Camuto, all right? Vince Camuto. And as you can see, this guy's wrapped in leather. So what do you think it's going to smell like? This right here is the epitome of smelling like a leather jacket. All right. So if you want to go out and you you got that black leather jacket on, uh, whatever, th this right here is the perfect cologne to uh, to complement that smell. Okay. This is also a freshie. Okay. It's, it starts off fresh, but it has that dry down of that leather. So. One that's not really talked about in the fragrance game, but I think worth mentioning right here for the Christmas party uh, event that we have going on, Vince Camuto. And that's the standard Vince Camuto. They have all these different flavors of Vince Camuto and whatnot. Standard Vince Camuto right there. Another underrated, you don't hear this one talked about too much. This one opens up sweet, dries down with cedar, uh, oak moss, uh, just a, a delectable scent, delectable if that's even a word. This is Bulgari Man Wood Essence right here. Okay, uh, this is this is a stunner. This is very sweet. You wouldn't think it by being called Wood Essence, but it is a sweet fragrance. But dude, let me tell you, this is a compliment magnet. This one right here, I may wear this one tonight. I haven't worn this one in a while, to be honest with you. So this may go on skin uh, this evening. But this one right here, guys, check it out if you find it, Damal Bagari Man Wood Essence. I can't recommend it enough. It's a banger. And last but not least, if for all you bad boys out there, this is probably one of the most eccentric bottles that I have in the collection. This is Bad Boy Cobalt by Carolina Herrera, okay? This is the only Cobalt I, I own. This is the only one really. I mean, I like the original one, but this one's fire right here, guys. This is Cobalt. This one has a uh, black plum. It also has a uh, truffle, which is a different note that I don't have any of my fragrance. So it opens up really nice. I mean, really fresh, citrusy, uh, just, a, just a very pleasant opening. And then it dries down into something completely different. It dries down into kind of an earthy smell. Uh, so it's kind of woodsy, earthy. 
uh, dark undertone to it, which kind of is almost matches the bottle where it goes from like light to, to dark. Um, it's kind of like the, the opening up here is light and then it dries down into something much darker and mysterious. So Carolina, Her Carolina, I ain't talking about South Carolina or North Carolina. I'm talking about Carolina Herrera. Okay. Bad boy cobalt. Make sure you're talking about cobalt. So that's it guys. There's what I'm choosing from. Y'all let me know if y'all own any of these fragrances right here that I've talked about today, and if so, which one's your, fav or your favorite? And if you stuck with me all the way through the video, get down in the comments right now and say, Jamin, I made it. <laughs> and I'll shoot you a prayer for staying with me for 20 minutes out of your day. Hey guys, any of y'all that went after the, uh, the, the gratitudes today, the Jordan gratitudes, I hope you guys copped them. I did not. However, I do have an unboxing coming up. It's a sneaker that uh, I've been looking forward to. I copped it off uh, StockX. So, yeah, stay tuned. Turn that notification bell on. Hey, if you guys have a Christmas party to go to, y'all stay safe out there. Much love, man. I'll see you next time. Peace.